Friggin' decent's never been this undecent. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube channel. Bilson here, decent. She's pretty dirty from the summer she is, and she's seen a lot of friggin' dust and crap this year. It's been at the track, it's been everywhere this year. And this is all falling apart. So I'm gonna take all this apart and see what's really going on. Maybe we can clean her up a little bit because this is no freaking good. This air breather's no good. We gotta figure out something with that and clean it out. It's all dirty and dirtier than a dirty. Let's get this thing apart. See what's going on with the belt. See why we get a squeak. We'll clean it up a little bit, blow it all out. And this uh, the other freaking thing. Oh yeah, that doesn't look freaking good. Oh, what's going on there, Captain? Well, I guess that's right. Anyways, we'll get this thing apart, see what's what, and this, that, and the other. We're good. Thank you. So first thing we're going to need is a 10 millage. Hey, there's my 11 that I was missing. Oh, yeah. Anyways, as you know, we all are on hold with the LS waiting for parts to come in and waiting for some more money to arrive. So that's why we haven't had much LS lately. But we got something coming, don't worry. So what I need is El Socketo. So we'll pull this spark plug off and we're going to take off all this housing and everything because like I said, it's just not even sitting right. So let's find out why. Uh oh, we'll get these screws out. We'll set them over here. That one I can't get out. There's one. So this is a Yamaha Enticer G1. Just so everybody knows, it's old school. I did rebuild this engine a while ago and I did notice that I had a head gasket leakage. Too. So we're going to check that to make sure it's not cocked over because it might be too, if you know what I'm saying. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's really going on? We're going to get dirty for God's sakes. Let's have a pick tool in this bad boy and unhook this thing. There we go. Oil catch. Oh, we need a friggin' open and no pee. 10 million heat orders. Yeah, for some reason, none of this plastic is fitting very good at all right now. Okay, so we'll take this off like that. We'll set it over here. We're gonna take off this poor excuse for a friggin' choke butterfly doodad. Leave a bother. Probably should slap a new spark plug in this thing too. She does have quite a bit of uh, run time on her now. My homemade friggin' pull-off valve there. Everybody's gonna have a homemade pull-off valve, they do. Take this off. Yeah, baby. Oh, there she goes. Should get this air breather out of the damn way. We're gonna weld some kind of bracketry for this thing this year because that's just cocked right over. Get this out of the way. Put this down here for now. Take this off, set it back there for now. Hey, how do you like that? That's how I roll. We'll cut this off. We got another one down here. We do. Pull this off. Oh, we better get that off too. We're gonna get this off. There we go. And this can come out. Oh, hold on. We got one more way down here. There we go. Oh yeah, that's gonna be cleaned out. Holy cow! All this is gonna be cleaned out. See what I mean, Jim? These things get dirty. They do. This thing was mint when I put it back together. Get dirty, you dirty little bitch. Oh, I'm hooked on something. There we go. So that's out of the way. So there we go, we got all that stuff off. So now we can clean out this. See, I do have a little bit of a head leak right here. So we're gonna have to fix that because that means we're, leave, we're losing like 58 horsepower. Probably more like Honda horsepower. We don't wanna lose power like that. That's just no freaking good. So we'll check that head gasket while it's off. Maybe we'll have to put a new head gasket on her. That's what I'm probably thinking. So we'll pull that off and we'll check that. That looks good. We'll check all that. We'll check this. We'll scuff the belt up. Let's jack her up. The only problem is if I fire it up, it's gonna stink like dicks in here. But hey, we gotta do it. So I'm pretty sure the squeaking's coming from here because the belt's dicked. I'd like to get myself another uh, clutch too because this clutch is hot. Let's get her off the ground in here and we will fire it and see what's going on. Careful. There we go, she's off the ground. So let's, let's fire this bitch and see what's going on. Wait a minute, it's not gonna fire without fucking spark, is it? What a loser. 
think I might be grounding out here. Let me get a zip tie and hold that up. And actually that might be a reason too why he's not firing. Slap that in there and we'll tie this back here. There we go, let's try her now. Case pressure. No goodie. Let's slap this back on for a minute. There we go. Where is that coming from? I'll tell you one thing, we're not getting full speed out of her. If you notice that uh, the clutch belt there is not freaking going to the top, that's for sure. Open the door here. Ooh, eh? Ooh. Wow, stinky. But let's give it a little bit of grease first and see if it's in the grease fitting on the clutch because the clutch does have a spot to grease it. So let's give that a grease job and see what happens. See if it gets quieter, goes away. If not, we're gonna have to dig deeper. We are. Take this belt off and we'll uh, give her a little bit of a scuff job. Oh, hey. Secondary is just cocked right over, it is. Mm. Oh, that's still hot. Holy. Uh, oh. There she goes. Oh. There we go. Yeah, the belt's pretty much yuk. Might need a new belt, Captain. Oh yeah, is that ever war? Holy! All right, so now that I got that scuffed up, the battery went down the GoPro, by the way. So I got that all scuffed up. That still looks pretty good. Gasket might be able to reuse that, baby. So the piston looks good. There's a little bit of play in there. It's got a little piston slap. In all honesty, she'll be mint. So these engines always have a little bit of rattle. If you watch every friggin' single G2 or G1 on the internet, they all have that little rattly knock to them. No way around it, there is a little play. I'm sure you could pull them apart and put new rods and everything else in them, make them not as rattly, but should be mid. Friggin' right it is. So what I wanna do, I wanna put the head back on and we're gonna friggin' lock tight it this time and hopefully get a better seal on it because i ain't uh buying another gasket because this one's only got like i said a couple years on it so it should be freaking fine so let's just clean this off we'll slap her on actually you know what i might put a little bit of a uh, little bit of something on there just to make her kind of seal up a little better what can we use let's see what i got in the cabinets i don't think i have anything boys no it doesn't look like it so we're just going to put her back on the way she is. And we'll torque her down to a little bit more than normal. We'll give her a little over torquage. Call me crazy, but that's what I do. So we'll stick that on, and then we'll stick the old head on. Just going to remember what the hell way it goes, Captain. Oh, we've got to give her a little white job too. There we go. This should go that way. No, hold on. This should go that way. No, hold on. This should go that way. No, hold on. It should go this way. There it is. We got her. Captain, I think. Let's see, turn around, see what it does. Nope. Yeah, definitely only goes on the one way, which is right there. Decent. So we get these bolts out of here, which are dick because there's not even a washer on some of them. What is really going on? I wonder why they're coming loose. Looks like you just grabbed any old bolt and stuck them on there, you did. Hey, why wouldn't I? There. That looks better. Give it a little bit of Loctiteage. Not much, just a little. There we go. We'll slap that one on there. Oh, hey. 
This latte doesn't like to shut very well. These teen, these uh, studs on this head have seen better freaking days, I'll tell you that right now. Now I'm not going to go by the fact of torque specs on this because the gasket's been used. So I'm going to go with the belts of torque specs. Snug, 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 snugger, 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 and snugger. There we go, Jim. So that should be good. Let's hear it sounds. Pretty good, eh? That's how it works. So now I'll put the uh, belt back on this part. Give her a turnover and see what happens. Ollie Fred her turnover. There we go. Tighten this back up. Now I'm not going to put all the shroud and everything back on right now because I want to power wash this tomorrow. We'll leave the big belt off and everything else until we power wash it. We'll seal off the intake and we'll just nail it with the old power washer. Is that the right size? Probably not. Oh, that's yeah, close enough. Suck this up a little. That's not the right size. What's really going on? Did I not grab the right size for that? My life story, peoples. Every size but the right friggin' size. Hey, I was watching something tonight. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Nelson's race engines, but they're pretty friggin' decent, man. That guy can. He hasn't had a video in over a year, though, which I'm a little disappointed in. I wish he put out a video. But he, I guess he's building Mike Finnegan's engine for the Cadillac from Roadkill. I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about when I say that. But anyways, he's building that engine for him. So that should be pretty cool to see. Just thought I'd mention that. Looking forward to more parts coming in for my LS, that's for sure. All right, there we go. So that should be good. So let's put the uh, wire back on here, and we'll just give it a quick fire up. I'm not going to run it because it's too stinky and I don't want to get the garage all stumped up again. Still off the ground, doesn't matter, bell's not on. Sounds pretty good. We got her, Jim. Give her a couple more little turns just to be safe. There we go. That's done. Holy cow, she's making the heat real quick. So we're ready to uh, give her a power wash. Let's get this off of here, because it's just cocked over anyways. Plus we gotta power wash that thing out because that thing is dirty. So what I wanna try to do is glue this to this hose like that before I put it back on. But I wanna mount this back here onto here somehow. Actually we could probably even better would be like that because it doesn't have to be up. Straight down is fine. We'll have to play with this and figure it out. Well, we'll get that washed off. We'll get all these pieces and bits washed off. We'll get this washed off. We'll get the cart cleaned off. We'll maybe slap this belt on. Now that belt feels even worse. I should maybe order a belt. I don't want that much damn money. But I don't want to put the belt back on yet anyways. Until they power wash in here. So there you go. She'll be back together in no time. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of working on good old decent. We'll have her back to looking like brand new before you know it. And I forgot I put a charger on there for the battery. So that's kind of handy, but I forgot I even did that. I'll show you it tomorrow when I'm done cleaning it up outside. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. And hell, it'll even go over to get and show you the stereo that Car Phoenix fixed me up with. Just so you know, J&J Body Shop, he uh, painted this for me. So that's where the paint was done. That J&J Body Shop, if anybody's wondering, in Sarnia, Ontario. That's it, the rest I did. Freaking right. But hopefully you enjoy this video. I love you all. And until tomorrow, you know what to do for now. Thank you.